residents tell me Wood Valley Road doesn't always look like this. And we'll actually take the dogs walking up and down that area when it's super sunny. That road typically does end up overflowing when it does get super rainy. But um, my boyfriend's been here basically all his life and he's never seen it that bad. Fire officials say around 4.45 this morning, a sedan-type vehicle drove past barriers and tried to cross the fast-moving river. The National Weather Service says even if running water over a road looks smooth... But the road may be washed out. The water is likely filled with debris and is very likely much deeper than you think it is. If it's halfway up your wheel well, that's enough force if the water is moving. A rapidly moving water does not have to be nearly as high on a vehicle to displace it versus still water. Fire officials were able to get the driver out of the car without injuries, and county officials say closures will be in place until water levels subside. If you had a message to the community to stay indoors, you know, turn around, don't drown, what would that message sound like? The same right there, you hit it right on the spot, turn around, don't drown, you know. It's just, water's forceful. It's scary out there. And if you don't have to be on the road, don't be on the road. On Kauai, officials keeping an eye on Hanalei Bridge near Kuhio Highway after heavy rain this morning. In this Hanalei River gauge, the red dots represent water heights. And the different uh, shadings here represent past instances of minor ponding versus major flooding. The Transportation Department tells me the bridge remains open. As far as when things will improve for Hawaii Island? Probably uh, tomorrow and into next week, but any break in the uh, wet weather will be brief for the western end of the state, I'm afraid. But it looks like Kauai, Oahu, Ni'ihau, uh, Monday night into Wednesday will have an increased chance for enhanced showers. And in the meantime? Probably don't go out right now. <laughs> There's not much to see out there. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for what?